Hello and welcome to ProtoSpeed Tutorials. Today's tutorial is uh, short and precise. Uh, we know most widely the designers use uh, either the bell support function or for drawing uh, the casting sprues or the, the, the tree within a ring. Uh, one has to draw curves and do that all sort of things. But uh, uh, in GemVision Matrix and Rhino, we can use uh, the GV3D printing command. Uh, to draw the tree and some of the supports which saves a lot of time and it's quite user friendly and uh, secondly okay we always as we always do we gonna use uh, sub, uh, the sprues as supports to some sort and then at the end of the tutorial as we always do we are going to we are going to give you the design for free with support so you can test and print and analyze yourself so let's begin so here we have this string. So what we're going to do is we're going to simply type GV 3D printing and by this first option it will recognize all the areas where the supports are required but you cannot depend 100% on it. Then we will add the base which we have saved already. You can When we select this tool the stem will uh, automatically be starting from the center now you can put all the supports into the areas with this tool uh, you can modify the supports later as long as you are uh, in this command once you exit uh, you cannot modify it so let's cover all the areas Now after putting the supports uh, we can modify it these guided uh, circles and uh, points uh, will help you to modify it We are almost done. Now after, now after making the tree, either we can use the bell support function for straight supports or we can use proto slicer by proto speed. To load uh, the ring into the proto slicer. Uh, and from here we are going to start uh, putting the straight supports first around base. Uh, in Proto Slicer, these white uh, white lines or white borders guide you uh, uh, to show you how the piece is going to build, and by that you are going to have an idea where you can spot the islands. And now we are we have selected the supports and modified it for from the parameters panel. Now we are done here. Let's change the position a little bit more to spread it out. We will straighten the angle from the angle factor. Then we are going to press make vertical. Now let's add more supports to the petals. Uh, because we can see that uh, an island is forming uh, from the petals. So it's better to cover it with the straight supports. Because there is a limit of using the tree. Uh, we cannot uh, make it uh, too angled. So we are going to act smartly here. Use the straight supports wherever required. Mm. 
going to make it straight and we are going to modify the parameters a little more we are going to make these supports a little bit thick because uh, as you can see uh, they have uh, a little more height so it's a good idea to give it a thicker gauge Now we are going to uh, set the ring on the uh, on the pane. We are done.